Hey guys, Cruz here. Welcome to Plague Incorporated. <laughs> Alright, so this is a new game that I just bought off of Steam. Um, I think it's been around for a while, but it's been on mobile devices. Uh, but yeah, it's available on Steam right now for like 14 or 15 bucks, US dollars. Um, and it looks really cool. Pretty much uh, the gist of it is you create a plague to wipe out uh, civilization on Earth. Um, and you're, you're able to evolve this plague in certain ways and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I've never played this before, so this is kind of a blind playthrough. It looks really fun. And I guess uh, without further ado, let's get started here. So let's just do uh, main game. Uh, the core Plague Inc. game. Alright, we uh, we're going to try to infect the world. So, alright, um, select a plague type. Okay, it looks like looks like bacteria is the only one that uh, we have unlocked currently. Um, but there are quite a few. Look at this, tons. Bioweapon. Oh wow, <laughs> fungus, virus, all kinds of all kinds of warm, cuddly stuff. All right, so let's continue. Uh, modify genetic code. DNA genes. Okay, all this is. Um, locked so okay well I guess we can't choose that but that's fine let's go ahead and continue let's play it on normal mode cheat no they should take that out of there I don't like that <laughs> I don't want to cheat all right let's play on normal mode continue and we will call this plague cruzitis so all right here we go <clears throat> Alright, you are a new bacteria. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Alright, you got it, man. Uh, select a start location. So, we get to choose what country we want to start in. So, I say we start in America. Um, that's where I'm from, so that's where we'll, where we'll start. Right about in this area, I think, is where I... Oh, well, yeah, close enough. Alright, so, let's click on this thing. Okay, Cruzitis begins in USA. Cruzitis has infected its first human. Alright, nice. Uh, weak and unspecialized. It must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. Okay, so we have to collect DNA points. So, alright, let's click on that thing. Alright, so, here we go. So far we have one, one person in the US infected with this disease. <laughs> and these are my DNA points, I believe. Uh, pop orange DNA bubbles to get DNA points. Okay, that must be what that was. So that'll give us more of these points down here, I would imagine. So let's open this up real quick and see kind of what we can do and what uh, what do we got here. Um, so it's got all kinds of stats on this stuff. Uh, overview, transmission. Oh, okay. So this is how the disease is transmitted. Okay. Um, symptoms. Oh, this is cool. Oh yeah, and each of these cost a certain amount of DNA points. All right, abilities: uh, cold resistance, heat resistance, drug resistance, and bacterial resilience. I'm thinking we might want to go with this. So uh, let's see: resistant to class one and two antibiotics. That would be a handy one to have. But we don't. We're not there yet. So uh, let's just. Uh, Let's let this thing go for a little bit and uh, collect some more DNA points. There we go. Some more. We got six now. I think I do kind of want to. Let's see how much is this. That costs nine. We have six. I'd like to be. I'd like it to be transmitted by like bird, rodent, or uh, insect. It would be really cool. Blood. That'd be good. Ooh, yeah, water. Okay, cool. Well, we're gonna have to build up some DNA points first before we do any of that. So, all right, <clears throat> collect those. We got seven. We need at least nine because I want to do the uh, transmission by insect first. Oh, we can zoom in and out and all that kind of stuff. We can look around. Oh, check it out. Oh, London Olympics mystery. Mystery still surrounds the decision to postpone the London Olympics. Okay, I'm pretty sure that doesn't have anything to do with me since uh, our disease is contained in the US right now. These must be the infected people. Four infected. <laughs> All right. Oh nice, we have uh, 12 points now. Let's go ahead and let's do this. Um, insects susceptible to infection. Uh, carrier insects increase infectivity, especially in hot climates and chance of mutation. All right, let's do that. Cool, I wonder if that's gonna increase it at all. Uh, you have successfully evolved cruzitis. Nice. 
like some more. Oh, we got 11 more. I wonder if we can spend more. Let's do that, because I want to do the uh, drug resistance. So, uh, ooh, and symptoms. That'd be cool. What do we got here? Let's see, we got nausea, insomnia, coughing, cysts, <laughs> painful lumps containing pockets of the pathogen, slight chance of bursting, which can spread disease. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Rash and anemia. Okay. We'll keep that in mind. I I just want to uh I want to evolve this one. Oh, we have just enough points. I thought that cost cost nine points before. Maybe it goes up as you spend your DNA points. So let's evolve that. So it says um it's resistant to class one and two antibiotics. So then it opens up some more stuff for us. Alright. Pathogen becomes harder to analyze in the lab. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool. That's eight points. All right, well, <clears throat> we'll keep that in mind. We're starting off slow. We've got uh, four infected people. Was that five now? Nice. It's slowly spreading. Cruzitis. <laughs> We've only got two DNA points, so we really can't do anything right now. We just have to sit here and kind of wait and just kind of keep an eye on everything. I'm really hoping it... Uh, one of the infected people get on a plane and take it over overseas. That'd be great. <laughs> we will wipe out the world. So we're up to eight infected now. That's pretty cool. Nine. Nine out of a possible, what, seven billion? <laughs> Heavy flooding in Central Europe. Okay, well, once again, that doesn't really affect me. Okay, we have seven DNA points. Let's see if we can do anything else. Um, symptoms, how much do those cost? Ooh, this will, this is cheap. Okay, should we do nausea? Slight chance of infection when kissing. I say, yeah, we do that. Right on. Let's see, um, why is that X'd out? Oh, vomiting. <laughs> okay, well, we don't want to make people, like, too sick right away. Coughing? Yeah, definitely coughing. People don't cover their mouths and they just cough all over everybody. A bunch of savages. Alright, so we got. Oh, Cruzitis begins to spread. Alright, and we'll grow exponentially. Uh, you control the plague indirectly by evolving it. Right on. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Whoa, 251 people have died so far. Whoa, how did that happen? Where did they die at? Did they die from cruzitis? That's kind of strange. Hmm. None of the symptoms are uh, death-like. Uh, but who knows? <clears throat> it's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, 28 people infected in the US. 30? It's going up pretty rapidly. Which is pretty cool. 33? Alright, let's see if we can kind of Let's see, transmission. Let's see if we can do this. No, we can't do that yet. Livestock. Rural regions and mutation. Okay, that costs eight points. Let's do that. Let's evolve that. Nice. Didn't see what that said. Oh, flood, earthquake. <laughs> Just got a bunch of weird stuff up there. Weird stuff happening in the news. Yeah, that's so weird. 251 people have died, it says, in the world, worldwide. No one has died yet in the USA, which is where the disease is. So it's kind of strange. I don't know. Not really sure. Uh, this is my first time playing it, so yeah, I don't really know why that is. <laughs> but we're up to 74 people. 76? Yeah, it's climbing. That's excellent. 79, 81, 87... Yeah, they're all just sick and coughing on each other and kissing and cysts are blowing up on people. <laughs> Alright. Oh, awesome! Cruz has mutated and developed the cyst symptom without using DNA points. Awesome. So we didn't have to spend any of our points, but now uh, people are going to have bursting cysts all over them. <laughs> Alright, let's grab those. 119 people infected already. 128? 139? Oh my god. It's a rampage. Um, okay, just a, t a tip. <clears throat> Yeah, look at this. Oh yeah, people are just people are just going nuts. Heck yeah, cruzitis infects hundreds. <laughs> 
All right, cruzitis has infected hundreds in the U.S., increasing the chance that an infected person will infect a healthy person. Keep evolving your disease. Oh, I plan to. Just got to build up some points first. I'm waiting for it to, to go uh, overseas, start infecting other people. All right, let's see if we can do anything else here. Um, let's see, overview. Daily infections, four. Average infections, two. Average deaths, one. That's pretty strange. It's not too severe, which is good for now. Um, all right, let's, let's see if we can do some more symptoms. Um, what do we have here? Hypersensitivity, allergic reactions, uh, abscesses. <laughs> oh, yes. I want that. Um, let's see what else we have, though, first. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go to abilities and see if we can upgrade this. Uh, we can. Let's do that. Let's make it harder to uh, analyze in the lab. I think that's going to be a good one for now. The symptoms we have are pretty good so far. Um, <laughs> possible bursting cysts, uh, nausea. I think we had nausea, right? I think so. Let's check again. Yeah, nausea, um, what else? Coughing, and yeah, <laughs> cysts, bursting cysts. Oh, that's so disgusting. All right, whoa, we're up to almost a thousand people infected. That is awesome. Cruzitis is becoming quite popular. <laughs> no one in the US has died though yet, but it is spreading quite rapidly. That is, that is really cool. <clears throat> All right, let's check out. Oh wow, Russia, no infected. Oh, more points. Yeah, we're running low on uh, DNA points. We really need to, I, I'm not sure what makes that increase more. Um, I think it just increases slowly over time. So we'll just have to wait, keep an eye on things. Man, look at that, that's just like skyrocketed. 2,700 people, 28. All right, this is awesome. Still, no one has uh, no one has traveled with this. So, new social network launches. Okay, no one cares. <laughs> I'm a disease. I don't care about social networking. All right. Five thousand people already. Oh, this is awesome. How come we don't have very many? Uh, Cruzitis has infected thousands in the U.S. People are being infected faster and faster. Yes, they are. Why aren't my DNA points going up? seem like they're going up very far very very fast I'm not really sure oh well I mean as long as it keeps infecting people <clears throat> so we're almost at 10,000 people infected yeah now we're over 10,000 11,000 man yeah that is spreading quite rapidly um, what's this do <clears throat> business as usual okay oh that's okay this is uh for the U.S. only total population. <clears throat> All right, come on, we need more DNA points. Um, what do we need? What, let's plan on. Let's see what we're gonna do next. Let's let's plan. Um, I guess we can't choose that yet. Or no, maybe it's uh, maybe we can't choose it now because well, crap. I don't really know. <clears throat> let's see transmission. Can we do anything here? Oh, uh, we can devolve. Ooh, airborne, that'd be a good one to have. Water, that'd be a good one to have too. So 11 and 11. So we need about 20 some odd uh, points. And we're, yeah, we're really not getting any very fast. <clears throat> so, but that's fine. We're, we're still infecting people quite rapidly. So we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Twenty-eight thousand people, almost thirty thousand people already. Wow, that's that seems like a lot, but it's really actually not. <laughs> so huge earthquake in Australia. Okay. Come on, I want to see this start popping up in other countries. Well, there's one DNA point. Not a lot of help. Um, oh, pneumonia symptom mutated. All right, Cruzitis has mutated and developed the pneumonia symptom without using DNA points. Well, that's cool. We didn't have to spend any points, and now people are getting pneumonia from it. So 60,000 people. I've, over 1,000, almost 2,000 people are dead because of it. I, I don't understand that. <clears throat> it's 
very strange. 81,000, 87,000. Wow, that just jumped up. 95, 100,000. Okay, uh, C America has been infected. I'm sh assuming that means Central America. Uh, your disease has been an important step. What was that? Sorry. Your disease has taken an important step in becoming a plague. When a new country is infected, pop the red bubble to get bonus DNA. Nice. Um, did I already do that? Okay. There we go. So that gave us three points. That's cool. And there we go. It's starting to spread. So now it's in Central America. I think this little dotted line is how it traveled. I would imagine. I don't, I'm not quite sure. Let's see. Four of them are infected here. So that's pretty cool. We have five disease points. There's some more DNA. All right. We've almost got enough to upgrade it a little bit. I mean, we could add some more symptoms, but I mean, there's, I think there's plenty of symptoms. It's got um, all kinds of stuff. Pneumonia, uh, bursting cysts, um, nausea, you know, the whole nine. Coughing. So, all right. Over half a million people infected. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting there. Cruzitis will take over the world. <laughs> Ooh, DNA points. Ooh, that was three. That's pretty cool. Uh-oh, what's this? Does it is it going to... Alright, I think we just... Did it just infect... Oh, yes! We're in Japan now. Nice. Alright, so we have seven infected in Japan. Infecting more countries. Okay, cool. Okay, I need a bigger screen so I can click on those bubbles. I don't want them to, like, uh go away before I can click on them. Oh man, almost 2 million people infected in the US. How many people we got down here? 58, not bad. 12 in Japan. Alright. We got 15 points too. Let's go ahead and um, <clears throat> make this airborne. Um, increase infectivity, especially in arid environments and plane transmission. Okay, yeah, definitely. There we go. So now hopefully... There we go. Look at that. <clears throat> there we go. Yes. That's how it starts. <laughs> Excellent. Oh man. So we got over four million people infected with this worldwide. Almost five million. Oh man. Okay. It's spreading rapidly. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, there goes another one. Watch. Oh no, no. It's just carrying infected people. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. More infectious than tuberculosis. <laughs> okay, cruzitis has infected more people in the world than TB. It is a very infectious disease. Yes. Now, <clears throat> I think what's going to happen is the doctors are going to get suspicious and they're going to start, uh, you know, really trying to make a cure for this. So we have to make sure that they can't do that. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, let's get these bubbles. Okay, we have tons of points now. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, increase the abilities. So the pathogen, uh, the pathogen does not reproduce in lab conditions. So that's going to cost 24. That's a good one to have. Uh, genetic reshuffle. Path uh, pathogen DNA strands reassembled. Uh, more work needed to develop a cure. That'd be a good one. So actually, let's go ahead. That one costs 19. This one costs 27. Um, let's do that one. Uh, more work needed to develop a cure. That'll just make it harder for him to uh, get a cure. I got nine DNA points left. Okay, that's gonna cost. Okay, let's see. What's this? Bacterial resilience. Uh, create back. Uh, create bacterial shell to protect against all climates. Yeah, let's do that for sure. All right. Now here we go. We got 18 million people infected. No, not a, not many people have died yet. But that's fine. Um, there we go. We're in Australia. <laughs> nice. Um, there we go. Nice. Okay, things are starting to get a little uh, crazy here. We got almost 40 million people infected worldwide with cruzitis. I just saw another infected plane. Oh man, it's just like taking over the U.S. There's an infected ship, another infected plane. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. What are we in Russia now? Yep. Okay. Man, this is spreading like wildfire. That's awesome. That's exactly what we want. More infectious than HIV. Cruzitis has infected more people in the world than HIV. All right. Cool. Man, yeah, we're, we're taking over. We're slowly taking over. 114 million, 123 million people infected. Oh, it's spreading like crazy. They just can't keep up. Um, let's see if we can go ahead and do another uh, thing here. Um, let's go ahead and do transmission. Let's see if we can do... Uh, water yeah 
path pathogen can survive outside the body in fresh, warm water. Um, okay, yeah, definitely. Let's do that for sure. <clears throat> Get some of those tropical areas. Uh, new minor disease spreading. Uh, uh oh, a doctor in U.S. Uh, in the USA uh, found a new disease which can be named uh, I'm reading this wrong guys in a normal checkup a doctor in USA found a new disease which has been named cruzitis it appears to be mostly harmless but must be investigated further okay other countries are also reporting this disease all right so they're starting to do research on this thing so we got to make it really hard for them so that's what I'm gonna focus on uh, do is spending my points in is the uh, the uh, what's it called abilities here down here the drug resistance and the uh, genetic hardening, genetic reshuffle, all that. So I think the next one I'm gonna do is this one here, <clears throat> the genetic hardening too. So I need 26 points for that. Um, we got seven points now, that's not bad. We should have 27 points very, very soon. Yep, 12 already. Whoa, 250 million people. Quarter of a billion people already, nice. Excellent. USA starts work on a cure. No! Okay. Without f greater funding, it is expected to take a long time. Okay, that's good news. Um, but we need to hurry up and get these points so we can make it harder for them to uh, research and, and such. Alright, there we go. Nice. 14. 16 points. <laughs> oh, alright. Here we go. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. It's all over 309 million. All right, we got 24 points. We need more. We need, uh, what was it, 27, I believe? Um, drug resistant, this one here. Uh, 26, okay, cool. Anemia symptom mutated. Okay, so it just added another uh, symptom without using DNA points. That's cool, that's good. So we can spend all of our uh, DNA points on making it harder for them to find a cure for this. And that's exactly what I plan to do. All right, so we got enough. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Um, genetic hardening or genetic reshuffle. Increasing the work needed to, to develop a cure. That one costs 25, that one costs 26. Um, yeah, let's, let's do this one instead, the genetic reshuffle too. So there we go, nice. And that should keep them from finding a cure for quite some time. So we're up to 312 people infected, or 312 million, 313 million now. All right, come on, cruzitis. <laughs> These people should be happy to have such an awesome disease. <laughs> Ungrateful bastards. All right, here we go. Yeah, got 11 points. Um, let's let's go ahead and find out what we need to do next. Um, so we can do this. I think the transmission is fine. Um, I'm, I really just want to work on the abilities for right now. I think that's probably the cure. So... It's not very lethal at all either. You can see by these bars down here. It's it's not very severe either. It's just... Uh, not yet at least. <laughs> but um, okay, so let's start working on this one next. Oh, or that one. That one would be good. That costs 30 points, though. But it's something definitely worth uh, worth waiting for. <clears throat> we might actually want to make it a, a little more deadly, too, if we can. So, we might have to do that. Nice. 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 Yeah, we're getting all kinds of points now. Good. I need them. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at that. <clears throat> all right. Who raises threat level for cruzitis due to uh, extremely rapid evolution caused by DNA instability? All right, cool. Threat level increased. All right, it's still not that deadly, but... Uh, oh my god, look at this. <laughs> oh man. The USA is like completely screwed right now. All right, come on. 36 points. Okay, so we can do this one now. Uh, genetic reshuffle three. <clears throat> I say we do it. Yeah, we're doing it. It was pretty expensive, but that's fine. I think it's I think it's gonna be worth it. Now let's check out the symptoms. Let's see if we can add some stuff. Um, abscesses, we can do that. Yeah. Uh, pneumonia, that's already there. Pulmonary fibrosis. Okay, vomiting. And rash. Anemia. 
hemophilia. Hmm. What's this? Insomnia? Irritable and less productive. That might be a good one to have. Let's do that. So now people can't sleep. They're going to be all pissed off all the time. I didn't read that. Probably should have. Oh, unlocked an achievement. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Australia begins to break down. Uh oh. All right, normal life in Australia is beginning to break down due to cruzitis. <laughs> Your research is uh, starting to slow. Heck yeah. Because the doctors can't sleep, they have insomnia. They're all thrown up on each other and their blisters are bursting on each other. <laughs> this is awesome. All right. Sweet. France leading global cure effort. Uh, France has started to send research, research teams uh, to infected countries, hoping to speed up the uh, development of a cure for cruzitis. Pop blue bubbles to destroy their research. Okay, now we're going to have to focus on these blue bubbles. There's a blue plane right there. I'm sure it's probably going to... Bam, get out of here. Get out of here, research. You suck. There's another uh, blue plane we're going to have to keep our eye on. It. Where did it land? Somewhere over here. Get out of here. All right. Oh, 2%, 3%? What's this all about? I don't want I don't want them to make a cure. Alright, we have a bunch of points now, so here's what we need to do. We need to go back into here. Uh, okay, we can't uh, do anything about that right now. Bacterial resilience. Let's evolve that. Um, survivability in all climates. Let's go ahead and evolve that one as well. And we will start making these symptoms a little bit more intense. The scarring of the lungs causes shortness of breath and extreme coughing can be fatal when combined with intense exercise. Yes, please. We have 18 points left. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. The hemophilia pretty much thins the blood. All right. Bam. Let's take it. What's this guy? Hypersensitivity. Um, increases likelihood of allergic reactions, which can distract the immune system. Yep. All right. So we have four DNA points now. So, uh... Gotta watch our spending. So, oh, we're back up to 18. Um, we're gonna be able to... Oh yeah, it's, it's increasing dramatically. First death in Central America. All right, the first death from cruzitis has been confirmed in Central America. Bad luck or the beginning of something terrible? Hmm, let's categorize that under, under bad luck for now. <laughs> All right, man, this is going crazy. All right, we've got 12,000 dead. France shuts down the airports, okay. Um, France has become the first country to try to limit the spread of cruzitis by limiting access into and out of the country. Time will tell if this will work. Well, let's hope it doesn't work, for my sake. <laughs> Alright, we got 28 points. Um, let's go ahead and paralysis. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. Let's make this thing terrible. Like, horrible. Um, total organ failure. Oh, that costs a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that's definitely cool. Coma. That'd be a nice one to have. Internal hemorrhaging. Yes. Alright, let's check out our abilities. Um, we still don't have very many of these left. Um, let's see. 33 and 30. Um, I'm thinking we might want to do something with these, but I don't know if we really need to. Um, we'll just we'll keep an eye on it for a little bit. Let's let our DNA points uh, kind of build up. So, 307,000 people have died. What have we got? 2 billion, almost 3 billion people infected? That's not bad. That's almost uh, half the population of the world. So, it's pretty impressive. Looks like they've stopped their research, so that's pretty cool. A million people dead. Nice. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, let's spend some points now. Um... Cold resistance. Um, what are we gonna do? This one? Antibiotics. Yes. Okay, we can't do that yet. Let's um let's see if we can do these. Cold and hot. We need 21 for that. So it can survive in the cold now. Hopefully maybe it'll spread up there. Um, I don't think a lot of people are traveling up there though, that's the thing. Man, look at that. Oh yeah, it's just it's <laughs> almost five billion people. Heck yeah, heavy flooding in Central Europe. Um, okay, that's fine. Excellent. 
We're slowly taking over the world. We're devouring the world. There's a blue plane right there. They're going to try to do some research. I'm not going to let it happen. There's another one. Get out of here. Got to stop that stuff from happening. Okay, we got 40 points. 43. Cool. All right, keep it coming. Wow, so many. 5.3 billion people. Amazing. That thing spread like wildfire. Um, abscesses. Nice. So they mutated. Now they have a... Uh, now uh, one of the symptoms is abscesses. We didn't have to use any of our points. So let's go ahead and go back in here. We can make it uh, resistant to heat. Yes. And let's do another resistant to cold. Uh, we're going to need more points for that. Um, transmission. Can we do anything else here? I think we can do this. Yeah, blood. Let's evolve it there. Nice. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Four and a half million people dead. No. Alright, we got another plane here. No. <laughs> Stop that research. 21%. That's a, a cure, I would imagine, right? Oh. Healthy up. Oh, th wow. Yeah, okay. Um, research priority. Okay. Cure. Estimated time of arrival for the cure. Okay. Uh, 233 days left until completion of the cure. Uh, 4 9 2016. Yeah, we got, we got a while. Nice. 5 million people dead. Almost 6 million people. Heck yeah. It's just, uh, uh oh, 25% complete. That's not good. Okay. We need to hurry up and kill everybody <laughs> before they find a cure. All right, come on, come on. Almost the entire world has been infected by this disease. Okay, here's a, here's a cure, plane, people, person, guy. Get out of here. 31%. Oh, man, it's like rapidly going. Get out of here. Global research focused on cure. No. All right. Let's um. Okay. Let's see if we can genetic hardening. Okay. We need 34 for that, but yeah, that's definitely the next one we're gonna do. Okay. We just need some more. Uh, just need two more uh, DNA points. Killing very fast. People are dying in France faster than new people are being infected. That's excellent news. Excellent news. All right. Man, yeah. Nice. It really did take over uh, Greenland up there. All right. Nine million people dead. Still 32. We need to... No. Get out of here. No. Get out of here. We need uh, more DNA points, guys. We really need it. Big time. <clears throat> Two more, two more points. That's all we need. Um, all right, we're just waiting, just waiting. Mutated. All right, uh, the inflammation symptom. All right, cool. Man, people are so screwed. This is a terrible disease. Um, I don't think there's any way that they're going to come back from this. Fifty percent done. They're fifty percent of the way. Uh, the cure is fifty percent complete. That's not good. Get out of here. We need more DNA points. Oh, hurry up. 18 million people have died. 18 million, that, 19 million, almost 20, 20 million people dead. That's a, that's a significant amount, <laughs> I would say. Uh, we need to, there we go. All right, now we're doing it. We are doing it. Boom, okay. Hopefully that'll uh, stagger their research speed. <clears throat> All right, so we have one DNA point. We can't do anything right now. So we're just going to have to wait. Oh my god, 60%. Okay, here we go. Here's a blue plane. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, cruzitis genes manipulated. Scientists have introduced synthetic genes into cruzitis. Oh, the, this... Oh, no. Okay, so they're trying to figure out my, my disease here. Um, that's not good. We need to kill everyone before they find a, find a cure for it. Um, Cruzitis has infected most of the world. In order to kill people, you must evolve. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I know, I know, I know. 
I mean, we are slowly killing people. <laughs> Hopefully it keeps evolving on its own and gaining new symptoms without me having to spend uh, DNA points. Well, mainly because I don't have any DNA points left. But what we can do, I think, is I guess we can um, devolve it. Um, uh, but that's not going to refund very many points, is it? Symptoms. I don't really want to devolve. I, I don't really want to devolve it though to get points. Um, maybe if I, uh, maybe next time I play, I'll try that. I don't really want to devolve it though. Get out of here, you stupid research. <clears throat> All right, 73, 74 percent. Oh yeah, yeah. Worldwide, 40, 44 million people dead. Ah, uh, I know. Don't remind me. I mean, but seriously, if they do figure out a cure, it, how long is it going to take to... I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I think I've made quite an impact. Killed more than the Black Death. Alright. New statistics New t statistics show that Cruzitis has killed over 75 million people worldwide. Worse than the Black Death. Nice. Um, it just says 40 million, though. Oh, well. Oh, cure plane. Get the hell out of here with your stupid cure. Here's another one. Get out of here. Ooh, that's creepy. What the? Why, uh, do you guys hear those little kids singing? How creepy is that? Wow. Yikes. Um, I think it's, oh my god, 85% done. Vomiting symptom without using DNA points. Nice. Okay. It's still not deadly, though. I think next time I play this, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus more on the deadly symptoms probably, um, so we can just kill people more frequently. There's some more points. Yeah, here, 88 percent. Oh man, and there's really nothing I can do uh, symptoms wise. Well, I mean, I guess some of this is pretty pretty deadly. I mean, I really wish I had enough to uh, unlock that total organ failure. But yeah, I don't, I don't, we're just not getting any DNA points. So I don't know if we're going to get to that point before they find the cure. So, well, we're still infecting people. Um, oh wait, are we? Oh yeah, we are. People are still dying. It's good. And now we wait. Oh, a cure plane. Oh man, 94%. <clears throat> I don't like that. 95%. I think the world pro or the world, the game probably ends at 100%. I would imagine. I'm not sure. It's my first time playing, so. Alright, come on. I'm not really sure what to do. I guess we just we just have to wait. Um, that's the only thing we can do. 98%. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. 99. Uh-oh. percent okay so well what happens now <clears throat> there we go cure for cruzitis is complete deployed worldwide don't that's not good okay well we can still keep playing I guess oh uh, people are getting uh, getting cured no I mean no bueno no bueno um crap there's nothing we can do they're all getting cured so rapidly. How are they getting cured so rapidly? That doesn't make sense. It seems a little quick. Cruzitis becoming scary. The more scary Cruzitis becomes by hurting and killing people. Oh, well, yeah. That, it was scary quite a while ago. <laughs> well, they've cured it. They've cured it. Uh, I didn't kill very many people. Well, I mean, Cruzitis to be eradicated. The world has survived a devastating plague and will soon eradicate Cruzitis forever. Large numbers not, large numbers of people have died and the world has changed forever. Hell yeah, almost a hundred million people. Dead? That's not too bad for my first playthrough. <laughs> uh, I mean, we still have... Uh, yeah, no. Oh, DNA point. <laughs> I don't think it's going to do any good. Nobody's infected. It has been eradicated. Defeat. 
Cruzitis has been eradicated. Ugh. Plague eradicated. Well, looks like I lasted 844 days. Uh, it was a standard genetic complexity. Cure progress 100%. It was a bacteria. Uh, normal. Uh, total score of 51. I'm not sure if that was good, if that's good or not. But, uh, yeah. I killed, um, how many people did I kill? I, it was like, um, almost 100 million people, right? So it doesn't seem too bad. Um, let's see. Yeah, well... All right, well that was a really fun game, you guys. Um, I, I highly recommend that. It's like I said, it's available on Steam for like 15 bucks or something. It's still in development as well, so I'm pretty sure they're going to, uh, you know, they're gonna add some stuff to it and maybe change some things. But yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's pretty fun. Uh, it's a pretty cool game to just sit there and kind of try to plague the entire world with a disease. So yeah, <clears throat> all right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, yep, yeah, and I'll talk to you guys later.